Hey guys, welcome to another Final Cut Pro video. And today we are talking about the 10 best free plugins for Final Cut Pro. Also, at the end of this video, there will be a giveaway where you stand a chance to win a massive pack of plugins, transitions, LUTs, and other effects for Final Cut Pro. When I say massive, I'm talking about over 300 transitions, over 700 LUTs, more than 150 gigabytes of lens flares, dust mats, light overlays, bokeh overlays, sound effects, and so much more. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. Let me start by saying that you are probably going to get the best quality plugins if you actually buy high quality plugins and effects, but there's still a place for free plugins because some of them are actually really good and super useful. So I searched the internet for the best free plugins that I could find, and I put together a list of the top 10 plugins that I now actually use myself. The first plugin on the list is Invertigo from Motion VFX. This plugin helps you take your dolly zooms to the next level. If you're not sure what the dolly zoom effect is, let me quickly explain. If you have a camera moving forward, like this drone shot that I shot at Lake Blade in Slovenia, and in Final Cut Pro, you use keyframes to create a zoom out. You get this really cool warping effect that sort of sucks the viewer into the frame. It feels really immersive and it's a really cool effect to use. Likewise, if the camera is moving backwards, like in this shot, you can zoom in in Final Cut Pro to create a dolly zoom in the other direction. M Vertigo takes the dolly zoom effect to the next level, and it's a title effect, so you can find it over here in the title section. You have a few options here, but my favorites are the M Vertigo From and M Vertigo To. If the camera is moving forward, you'll use the M Vertigo From effect, and you can drag and drop it over your footage, retime it to match the duration of your clip, and then there are a few parameters you can adjust. You can choose your point of interest or the point at which you'd like to zoom out from. You can change the scale, rotation, and turn the distortion effect on or off. And it looks something like this. Number two on the list is Ryan Nangle's Motion Blur plugins. Using these plugins is a great way to add natural looking motion blur to a shot. You can use it in various ways, like to create a natural motion blur in transitions, or time lapses, or in hyperlapses. Let me show you a few quick before and after examples. It's also a title effect, so once installed, you'll find them over here in the title section under motion blur. There are a few options from extreme motion blur to minimal motion blur, but I really like the look of moderate motion blur too, and that's what I use most often. You just drag and drop the motion blur on top of your clips and retime it to fit. Here is a time lapse from Paris without motion blur. You can see how the movement's a little bit choppy. And then here it is again with the motion blur plugin applied. See how much smoother everything is. Lastly, here's a hyperlapse that looks nice, but maybe a little jittery. If I add the motion blur to it, all of that movement feels more natural and it actually gives you the sense that you're rushing through the frame in hyperspeed. Number three is the XFX video conference plugin, which allows you to create a 2x2, 3x3, or 4x4 grid. Sure, you don't need a plugin to do this, but it does make it so much easier. You can simply add the effect and choose the position of the clip on the grid. You also can include text and a text box if you're recreating, let's say, a zoom call. But let's hide that for now and quickly apply the effect to the rest of the clips. I'll add the effect here and select top right, and I'll hide the text and text box. And then I'll add the effect to the other two clips, making this one bottom left and this one bottom right. The best feature of this plugin is the ability to scale and change the position of the screens, which is more difficult to do if you were to create this effect without using the plugin. Because if you were to change the scale, you'd need to crop the edges in order to keep that exact same size, and that would take forever to get perfect. Number four is Alex4D's Wide Angle Fix plugin. I recently discovered this one and I can't stop using it on my GoPro footage. It's a great way to get rid of that crazy wide angle distortion you get on GoPro cameras or on any other wide angle shot where you have distorted edges that you want to straighten out. You see how the horizon here isn't straight on this GoPro clip? We're gonna fix that. You can find the plugin over here in your effects panel and I'll just drag and drop it onto the clip. It looks much better already, but let's have a look at how you can customize it. You have three different presets to choose from and each have a different amount of distortion correction, but you can also choose the custom option to manually choose how much of the distortion you want to correct. You can also use the grid to use as a guide to get the horizon perfectly straight. This is before and this is after. Number five is MCAM Rig from Motion VFX. This is one of my new favorite free plugins for Final Cut Pro that I discovered recently and it's super powerful. You can use it to create camera movements on your clips like this. You can animate a zoom in or a zoom out. You can change the rotation. You can add a depth of field blur and so much more. I like to use it for tutorial videos where I want to zoom in to show you something. And I've been using it throughout this tutorial so far. Let me show you how it works. It's a title plugin and let's assume I want to show you where to find it in the title section. 
So I have this screen recording here where I navigate over to titles and scroll down to MCAM rig. I simply drag and drop the title effect over the screen recording. For a tutorial example like this, the first thing I would do is turn infinite focus on because I don't want there to be any depth of field blurring. You can choose where you want to zoom into with the on-screen control and you can choose to turn the in and out animations on or off. And it looks something like this. Number six is better border from Brett FX. Final Cut Pro does have a built-in border plugin, but it's not perfect. Let's have a look at this example. I have a clip in the bottom corner that I've added Final Cut Pro's border plugin to, but I want to crop the clip to make it square. The problem is if you need to crop the clip, you crop the border off as well. With better border, you have the ability to crop the clip and the border follows the crop. A simple plugin, but a super useful one. Number seven is another one from Ryan Nangle, the adjustment layer. There are a bunch of different adjustment layers on the internet, but they all do the same thing. What an adjustment layer allows you to do is to apply effects and make changes to the clips below it. Essentially, all of the title plugins and effects we've looked at so far are adjustment layers, but a simple adjustment layer lets you make your own adjustments to the clips. Let's assume you have a bunch of clips edited together and you want to give them a similar look or style. You can add an adjustment layer to the top of all the clips and then extend it here so that it covers all of them. Next, let's go choose a LUT to apply to the entire edit. I'll scroll through a few here and yeah, let's pick this one, this one will do. I'll drag and drop that onto the adjustment layer. Then let's go in and adjust the opacity slightly. Okay, if I scrub through the edit here, you'll see that this effect has been applied to all of these clips underneath it. You can also do other things like keyframe a change in scale over time. So let's add a keyframe here at 100% and another one at the end of the section at let's say 120%. If I play this back, notice how the entire range of clips will now gradually zoom in. Number eight is M Vertical from Motion VFX. If you've ever had to add vertical footage shot using a phone to your edits, you'll know how annoying it is to have those black pillar box bars on the left and the right hand sides of your footage. A common way to incorporate vertical footage into an edit, and it's something I've done a lot for TV shows, is to duplicate the clip, scale up the bottom layer to fill the frame, and then add a blur effect. M Vertical makes this process so much easier. You apply the plugin from the title window, and you have a bunch of different options to customize the way it looks. You can change the background modes, but the one that looks best to me personally is the scale mode. You can adjust the scale and position of your source clip. You can change the background position, scale, opacity, blur, and you can even create a color tint if you want. This is a great plugin that makes a pretty mundane task super easy. Number nine is the magnifier plugin. In the same way that MCAM rig is useful for tutorials to zoom in to show you details, the magnifier plugin lets you zoom into a specific section to highlight something. This is useful for something like security camera footage to highlight a specific part of the scene, or for a tutorial where you need to zoom into a specific part of the screen. You can find it over here in the effects window. Drag and drop it onto your clip and you can change the form to one of three presets. You can toggle the drop shadow on or off, change the amount of magnification and adjust the position over here. It's handy to be able to keyframe the position of the magnification as well, because then you can follow the cursor, for example. Let's see where the cursor starts to move in this clip. Somewhere about here. We can then create a keyframe, move forward in time to about here and move the position. When I play that back, it'll follow my cursor. You can also easily make it pop up at the exact point you want it to pop up by making a cut in the clip over here, removing it from that part of the clip, and then it pops up like this. Or by adding a quick dissolve transition here, you can fade the magnification effect on or off. The last plugin on this list is called FOSS Titles from LenoFX. I've been using this plugin throughout this list of the 10 best free plugins for Final Cut Pro, and I'm usually not a fan of free title generators because I've found so many crappy ones online, but this one's fantastic. If you head over to LenoFX Fast Title in your title window, there are a bunch of different presets and looks that you can choose from. You can drag and drop it onto your timeline, and here are some of the settings you can adjust. You can change the direction of the animation. You can obviously change the text itself, the font, the size, all of that. And there are a bunch of other options, but my favorite is the ability to add your own footage as the background. You can simply do that by having the footage that you want to use on your timeline, making sure that the background type is set to custom, and then clicking on the image well. Scrub through your timeline to select the clip you want to set as the background and hit apply clip. You can change things like the scale, blur, saturation, or brightness to get the background looking the way you want it to look. If you scroll down, you can also select if you want the title to build in or out or not. All of the background footage and the titles I used in this video come from the massive bundle I was talking about at the beginning of the video. So you're probably wondering about how to enter that giveaway. Well, before I get into that, I want to hear from you. What do you think is the best plugin on this list? Which ones are you going to download and incorporate into your workflow? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, let's talk about the giveaway. The massive bundle I was talking about earlier is called CinePunch, and it's pretty awesome. 
In this bundle, there's a huge library of cool stuff. You get over 300 transitions from blurbacks, camera smashes, fast swipes, film reels, slides, glitches, light leaks, shake slides, and so much more. Look at all these different transitions. I feel like I don't ever need any more transitions after this. You also get more than 700 LUTs that are grouped into various looks, camera profiles, styles, and more. The best thing about the LUTs is that once you've installed them into Final Cut Pro, you can also hover over the effects in the browser to quickly see what they look like before applying the LUT to your footage. You also get tons of different kinds of overlays like light leaks, bokeh, dust, flares, and they come in HD, 4K, and even 8K resolution. It's really easy to use them as overlays. You just drop it above your footage, set the blending mode to screen, adjust the opacity, and boom, it's done, and it looks great. You can also use these overlays as background elements instead. All of the backgrounds for the titles in this video were from this bundle. You can download all of the different packs to your hard drive so that you have the entire library of overlays ready to access whenever you want, or you can browse through the library of effects online and just download them whenever you need them. You also get access to a library of really cool sound effects which I've used throughout this video. The creators of Cinepunch reached out to me and asked me to have a look at this bundle, and they've kindly said that I can give away this entire bundle, the whole thing, the transitions, the LUTs, the overlays, the whole bundle, to three lucky people. All you have to do to enter is click on the link below, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below to tell me what you think the best part of the Cinepunch bundle is. The giveaway will be open for entries for two weeks, and then the three winners will be picked at random. So if you want to make sure you stand a chance to win, click on the link down below. So the entries will close on the 8th of October 2020. So if you're watching this after the 8th of October, then I'm sorry, but you've missed out on the giveaway. But fear not, you can still buy the bundle using the links down below. There's a ton of value packed into a really affordable pack. You can buy the whole bundle for $49, or you can buy the subscription for $16.50 per month. And you get unlimited downloads, as well as access to a bunch of other assets. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the 10 best free plugins for Final Cut Pro, and I hope you enter the giveaway. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brad, and on this channel, you'll find filmmaking and photography tutorials and the occasional travel vlog when Donna and I get the chance to travel. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, then please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when we post new videos, and I'll see you in the next one.